In this skeleton, let us examine the various ossification centers. Let us take a look at the shoulder joint. As you can see, the composite epiphysis has formed, but it has not fused with the shaft of the humerus. The ossification center for a chromium process has not appeared. Now let us take a look at the ossification centers of the elbow joint. The composite epiphysis has not fused with the shaft of the humerus as evidenced by this groove. The ossification center for the head of radius has appeared but has not fused. The ossification center of the olecranon process has appeared but it has not fused. Let us take a look at the ossification centers of the wrist joint. The ossification center for the lower end of radius has appeared but it has not fused. Similarly, the ossification center for the lower end of ulna has appeared but it has not fused. The ossification center for the base of the first metacarpal has appeared and it has not fused. The pisiform bone has appeared. Now let us take a look at the ossification centers of the hip bone. As you can see, the surface of the iliac crest is rough and the margins are ragged. This implies that the ossification center for the iliac crest has not appeared. The triradiate cartilage has not fused. Now let us take a look at the ossification centers of the femur. The ossification center of the head of femur has appeared but it has not fused. The ossification center of the greater trochanter has appeared but it has not fused. The ossification center for the lower end of femur has appeared but it has not fused. Let us take a look at the ossification centers of the tibia and fibula. The ossification center of the upper end of tibia has appeared but it has not fused. The ossification center for the upper end of fibula has appeared but it has not fused. The ossification center for the lower end of tibia has appeared but it has not fused and the ossification center for the fibula has appeared but it has not fused. In the heel, we can see that the ossification center for the calcaneal tuberosity has appeared but it has not fused. Let us take a look at the pattern of teeth that have erupted in the left maxilla. As you can see, there are seven permanent teeth present in this quadrant. Central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, first premolar, second premolar, first molar and second molar. The third molar, however, has not erupted. 